Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a comparison of two of the best phones out right now that you could get from Sprint or Verizon. The Galaxy Nexus and the Apple iPhone 4S. Now, if you have Sprint or Verizon, these are the two best phones out right now. The two top dogs, the Nexus and the iPhone. Now, on a side note, the Galaxy S2, you know, the Epic Touch, this is still a good phone and all that, but you can't consider this a top dog because there's no ice cream sandwich on it yet. And you got to remember, this is the S2. The S3 will be out, what, next month, couple of weeks. So you can't consider this a top dog. I wouldn't recommend buying this right now, especially when the next version is on the way right now. So we're not going to talk about the Epic. We're just going to talk about the Nexus and the iPhone. Now, when I do these comparisons, y'all know I don't really get too deep with specs and limb pack scores and quadrant scores and you know pixel density and all that I like to keep it real world alright so we're gonna do real world comparison and these are gonna be topics that you need to think about when you're gonna get a new phone stuff that you're gonna do every day okay because every day you're not gonna be running quadrant scores while you're at the mall and all that you know what I'm saying you're gonna be thinking about camera battery life and all that stuff alright so let's get right into it the first topic we got is the price which one has the better price all right, so for the Nexus, for the 32 gig Nexus, it's gonna run you 650 from Verizon, you know, off contract now we're talking about. 650 from Verizon, 550 from Sprint. Now for the iPhone 4S, off contract for the 32 gig, it's gonna run you 750. All right, so from, now if we're dealing with Verizon and Sprint, you're talking about 650, 750. So when it comes to the price in that category, I gotta go with the Nexus. Everybody like to save money, so this is a little bit cheaper. But now, don't get me wrong now, if money ain't a thing for you, then, you know, it is what it is. But if you're trying to save a dollar and all that, the Nexus has a better price tag. All right? You're getting a better price with the Nexus. So for price, we're going with the Nexus. Next category, the build quality. Which one has the better build quality? Hands down, that goes to the iPhone 4S. As you can see with the iPhone, it has the nice feel to it. You know, it has that metal around the sides. It just looks classy. You know, it's a beautiful phone, beautiful phone, beautiful design, it has a nice weight to it, as opposed to the Nexus, you know, which is a nice design and all of that, but it has that plasticky feel, you know, the back always feels like it might pop off at any second, it's just, you know, it's just second rate compared to iPhone build, so when it comes to build quality, you know, I gotta keep it real, I'm going with the iPhone. Now, when I'm doing this video, there's no bias or nothing like that, y'all know, know I keep it 100% real. All right, so I'm going to just say what's my personal opinion. You got to make your own opinion when you go to spend your money. But this is my personal opinion. All right, so build quality, I'm going with the iPhone. Next category, the battery. When it comes to battery life, I use the Galaxy Nexus. Now, keep in mind, I got the extended battery in the Nexus. I can rock this for about, about eight hours of heavy use. Or about 12 hours, you know, it's hair and there use. But with heavy use... The Galaxy Nexus with extended battery will give me about eight hours. Heavy use with the iPhone 4S, I, I'm talking about heavy, heavy use, I can rock this for about 16 hours. Okay, so battery life, hands down, goes to the iPhone 4S. Now, anybody who ever had an iPhone, y'all already know that iPhone, one thing that, you know, you can't argue about is the battery life. Now, neither one, now keep in mind now, you can't take off the battery on the iPhone, but um, even with the extended battery, you're still getting less time you know, than with the iPhone. Now keep in mind, they have another extended battery that you get for the Nexus, but that's gonna have your phone sitting out this wide. All right, so, you know, most people don't want that. So battery, fresh out the box, I'm going with the iPhone 4S. Next, the screen. Which phone has a better screen? Well, on the Galaxy Nexus, you know, you got a 4.6 inch screen with a resolution of 1280 by 720. Now with the iPhone 4S, you got a 3.5 inch screen with a resolution of 960 by 460. I mean, yeah, 960 by uh, 640. All right. So now this phone, the Nexus, has a bigger screen and more resolution. Smaller screen, less resolution. Do the math. When it comes to screen size, I'm going with the Nexus. Now, keep in mind, everybody talks about the iPhone retina display and all of that. Yeah, that's fine. But when you're looking at the phone, Look at the color schemes and look how, you know, the phone just looks bigger and brighter, more vibrant. I got to go with the Nexus when it comes to screen. The Nexus is, is it, the Nexus has the highest resolution screen out right now and it's clearly the best. Next category, the size. 
Now, this is an important category, especially to, you know, big dudes like me, you know, with big fingers. Which phone do you want, you know, look at the size. Which phone is going to fit you better? Now, like I said, this is just my personal opinion. When it comes to the size, I'm going with the Nexus. For me, the bigger screen is way better. It's a lot easier to send text messages. The keys are more spaced out. It's a lot easier to view things. Also, you know, if you're a dude who wears glasses, I don't know if you're nearsighted, farsighted, or whatever, you know, a lot of times, bigger is just better. You know, the bigger screen is just better in my opinion. Now, the iPhone screen is nice. You know, don't get me wrong, nothing wrong with it. But when it comes to the screen and it comes to the size of the actual phone, I'm gonna go with the, the Nexus, all right? So we're going with Nexus for the screen and we're going with Nexus for the phone size itself. Now, keep in mind, when it comes to thickness, the Nexus is a little bit thinner but the screen diagonally is just huge compared to iPhone, huge. Now that plays an important part also when you read in uh, graphs and charts like me. I get a lot of emails with charts and graphs and all that. And when you're trying to read something on a screen small like this, you're gonna be doing a lot of scrolling, a lot of pinch to zoom, stuff that you could just clearly look at with the Nexus. All right, so phone size, I'm going with the Nexus. Next, wireless radio. Which one has the better wireless radio? Which one you're gonna get better call quality on? Which one you're gonna get better internet reception on? And you know, hands down, I'm going with the Nexus. Now you gotta keep in mind now, the Nexus is 4G. Now even if you don't have 4G in, in your area yet, you eventually will get 4G. This also will support LTE. The iPhone, straight 3G. All right, so regardless if we're talking about LTE or not, this is 4G, this is 3G. So you're gonna get better reception, you know, with the Nexus. Now even when I have, even when I'm in places with no 4G, I just noticed that the Nexus has better reception than the iPhone. And you know, like I said, I'm keeping it 100% real, I'm not, you know, I don't care, I got both of them, so I'm not gonna just say Android because I like Android better than iPhone or whatever. I'm keeping it 100% real. When I go places and there's no 4G, when I'm in other states, when I'm in other countries and all that, the Nexus always works. The iPhone, doesn't always work, all right? Now, I don't go by bars and all that. I'm going by just real-world scenarios. Like, even right now, in my neighborhood, if I go on um, Jamaica Avenue or whatever and I go into the train station, not actually on the train, if I go into the train station, I can't use the iPhone anymore, but I can still use the Nexus. Same thing when I'm up in the airport and I'm about to ca you know, catch a flight somewhere and I'm in the elevator. I'm always sending my last-minute emails and text messages. Never have any service in the elevator always have service in the elevator on the Nexus, all right? So when it comes to wireless radio and call quality and all of that, I'm going with the Nexus. And speaking of call quality, trust me, if you never use the Nexus, you don't know, but the call quality in the Nexus is pretty much the best out of any phone that I use in, in, in a while. And that's what talking about the Epic and the Photon and the Evo 3D, all these phones, Blackberries and all that. The Galaxy Nexus has beautiful call quality, okay? Beautiful. Next topic, the camera. Which one has the better camera? Well, on the Galaxy Nexus, you got a five megapixel camera on the back that shoots video in 720. And on the iPhone, you got an eight megapixel camera on the back that shoots video in 10E. So, you know, that's pretty much a no-brainer. Which one has the better camera? Spec-wise, it's the iPhone. But now let's talk about real world. Now, real world-wise, trust me, the iPhone has pretty much the best camera that you could get on a cell phone the best. Now, I'm on Instagram all the time and all that. I'm always uploading photos and all that. You could clearly see when I when I drop a photo up that's been taken with an iPhone and when I took it with my Nexus or my Epic or my Evo or my Blackberry or whatever other phone I got that day, no camera right now can touch the iPhone's camera. Trust me. Now, if you get in your phone and taking pictures is going to be a big part of your, you know, if you like taking pictures all the time and you're a social network kind of dude, you're always on Foursquare and Twitter and Facebook, you're always on Instagram uploading photos and all that, then trust me, the iPhone camera is the best camera out right now on any phone that I use yet. Now we're talking about phones today. We're not talking about the Evo LTE and the, and the One X and the Galaxy S3, all those phones. I, I hear that their cameras are supposed to be awesome and all of that, but... Right now, we're talking about the Nexus versus the iPhone. And when it comes to cameras, I'm going with the iPhone. All right? Now, keep in mind, I said this is straight video. You know, no jailbreak, no root in the phone. This is fresh out the box. All right? You just got the phone. You open it about the box. And we're going to do the comparison. Next topic, the sound. Which phone has the better sound to it? Well, the Nexus 
it sounds pretty good, but when you first get it out the box, it's going to be pretty low. The Nexus works good now when you add an app called Volume Plus. Then it's going to bring the volume up nice and loud, but fresh out the box, believe it or not, for this small little phone, and you can't even really see the speakers on it, this phone is very loud. Very loud. When you're rocking music from your iTunes, when you're watching YouTube videos or whatever, this phone is way louder compared to the Nexus. So when it comes to the sound, I'm going with the iPhone 4S. Next, the user interface. Which phone has a better user interface? And what I mean by user interface is the drop-down menu, you know, the, the icons, the, the email setup, the whole, you know, scheme of the phone, you know, which has the better views to it. All right, now, if you don't know what user interface is, I'm, I'm trying to explain the best way I can, but that's the way you use your phone and, you know, why you interact with the phone. Which one is better, the Nexus or the iPhone? For the user interface, I'm going with the Nexus, all right? And that's, and that's you know, that's, that has a lot to do with Android versus Apple OS, but when it comes to user interface, let me give you a little demonstration. Let's take a look at the drop-down menu on the Nexus. When you got the drop-down menu, from the drop-down menu, I could just get rid of one thing at a time, or I could hit X and clear them all at once. Also from the drop-down menu, I could go straight to my settings, and from the drop-down menu, the way I have it set up, I also have the weather. I could just click on it, take it straight to my weather. You know, the drop-down menu on this is very interactive. The whole user interface on this is just customizable. It's just a better experience. Let's take a look on, on the iPhone. Now, on the iPhone drop-down menu, it's nice. You know, you have the weather also. You also have a detail of all, you know, all your income and stuff. But you can't get rid of one at a time. You have to get rid of all of them at once. You know, all, I have to get rid of all of my Twitters, all of my paths. You can't just get rid of one at a time. All of my Instagrams, I got to get rid of each one one by one. There's no way to get rid of all of them at once. And also, you can't just get rid of one post at a time. You got to do them all at once. Now, keep in mind, this has the stock market at the bottom. Yeah, that's nice. You know, you have the weather. When you click on the weather, the weather is very bland on this. There's no animations. You know, it's just... When it comes to user interface, I'm going with the Nexus. You know, it's just a lot more lively. There's a lot more animations. The way everything, you know, the way everything works is just a lot, a lot nicer to look at. Look, let's take a look at emails, let's, at the stock email clients. As you can see with the Nexus, with the emails, when I go to, let's go to all email combined view. When I'm at my combined view, you can see I got different colors to let me know. I got AOLs, I got Hotmails, a different color. You know, I got different colors to let you know about different emails. Now, let's take it to the stock client on the iPhone. It's like you got the emails. Yeah, they come up, you know, pretty bland, but, you know, they're all mixed up together. You have to click on one to let, you know, let you know if one is a Hotmail, if one is AOL. These are all my, my mailboxes combined. All right, so when it comes to the user interface, my personal opinion, I just like the, the, the Android user interface better. Like I said, it's just, it's just more lively. It got more animations. It's, it's just better to look at. Apple OS is nice. It's smooth. It works flawlessly, but it's very plain. Like when you look at this, there's no, you know, you can't put any live wallpaper. The keyboard is the same, you know, one keyboard. With the Android, you know, it's very customizable. You can put as many keyboards as you want get the live wallpapers and all that, screen animations, even, like, even when I power it off, I'm back on, you got that nice animation. You know, that's all little, all little things, but they add up. You know, when you put them all together, they add up. So when it comes to UI, I'm going with Android, I'm going with the Galaxy Nexus. All right, now I got a couple more categories. We're gonna, you know, put this in part two of the video. I'm not gonna try to squeeze everything at once because I got a couple, uh, couple more things I wanna talk about. All right, so, um, I'll come back in a couple of minutes. I'm going to shoot the next part right now. All right? Jabor Floss. Deuces.